Video Plus determines the demand function for a new video game. D of X is the number of games sold per day, and X is the sale price in dollars. Number one, how many games will be sold per day if the price is four dollars? To answer this question, we need to determine D of four, where D of four is equal to the square root of the quantity 300 minus 0 0.5 times 4 raised to the third power. And now going to the calculator, to the nearest video game, approximately 16 video games will be sold per day if the price is $4. Number two, determine the elasticity function or elasticity of demand, which is given by these formulas here, which are all equivalent. Notice all require d prime of x or dq dx. So let's first find d prime of x. Before we do this though, let's write d of x using a rational exponent. d of x is equal to the quantity 300 minus, let's write 0 0.5 as 1 half, and then we have x cubed raised to the power of 1 half. Taking the square root is the same as raising to the 1 half power. And now to find d prime of x, notice how we'll have to apply the chain rule where the inner function, or u, is 300 minus 1 half x cubed. And therefore u prime, or du dx, is equal to negative 3 halves x squared. And now we can think of this as u to the 1 half, and therefore d prime of x is equal to 1 half times u raised to the power of 1 half minus 1, which is really 300 minus one half x cubed raised to the power of negative one half, and then times u prime, which is negative three halves x squared. And now to determine the product and write the result using positive exponents. In the denominator, we have two times two, which is four, but then we move this quantity here down to the denominator to make the exponent positive one half, which gives us the denominator of four times the quantity 300 minus one half x cubed raised to the power of positive one half. In the numerator we have one times negative three times x squared, which is negative three x squared. Now that we have d prime of x, let's find the elasticity function on the next slide. The elasticity function e of x is equal to negative x times d prime of x, which is negative three x squared, divided by the product of four and the quantity 300 minus 1 half x cubed raised to the power of 1 half. And then we have times 1 over d of x, which is 1 over, again, let's write this using a rational exponent, which gives us the quantity 300 minus 1 half x cubed raised to the power of 1 half. And now let's go ahead and find this product. In the numerator, we have negative x times negative 3x squared times 1, which gives us 3x cubed. In the denominator we have four, and then notice how here the bases are the same, and therefore we add the exponents. One half plus one half is one, which just gives us four times the quantity 300 minus one half x cubed. And now that we have the elasticity function, we are asked to evaluate the elasticity function when x equals four dollars and interpret the results. So we need to find e of four which is equal to three times four cubed divided by the product of four and the quantity 300 minus 0 0.5 times four cubed. And now to evaluate this on the calculator. And we need parentheses around the numerator and denominator. So we have open parenthesis three times four cubed right arrow, close parenthesis, divided by open parenthesis, four times, open parenthesis, 300, minus 0 0.5 times four, raised to the third power, right arrow, close parenthesis for the quantity, and close parenthesis for the denominator, and enter, which gives us approximately 0 0.179. To interpret the results, since e of four is less than one, total revenue is increasing, demand is inelastic, and an increase in price will bring an increase in revenue.
And finally for part four, what price will maximize revenue? Revenue is maximized when the elasticity of demand is equal to one. So to answer the question, we set the elasticity function equal to one and solve for x. This gives us the equation 3x cubed divided by the product of four in the quantity 300 minus one half x cubed equals one. Let's first clear the fraction from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by four times the quantity 300 minus one half x cubed. Notice on the left side, the products simplify out, leaving us with three x cubed equals on the right side. Distributing four, we have 1,200 minus two x cubed. If we add two x cubed to both sides, we have five x cubed equals 1,200. Next step, divide both sides by five. Simplifying, we have x cubed equals 1,200 divided by five, which is equal to 240. And now to solve for x to undo the cubing, we now cube root both sides of the equation, erase both sides of the equation to the one-third power. So going back to the calculator, if we press math and then number four, we have the cube root, 240. Enter. This represents dollars and cents, and therefore the price should be approximately $6.21 to maximize revenue. I hope you found this helpful.